go. Today we're gonna review uh, a jacket I bought like I don't know five six months ago. I buy a lot of stuff like I haven't uploaded since recently like the two videos I did lately lately um, because most of the shit I buy somebody else uh, not most of it but. It's like basic like Nike sneakers. You can just go online and see for yourself how they fit or like clothes that many people have reviewed uh, many times before or already reviewed clothes, uh, shoes, whatever. Um, and I think like it's no reason for me to put up another review of something like if if maybe two, three people have reviewed it, okay, I'll maybe make one, but if like 100 people, you can, 100 reviews of some Yeezys or something like that, I won't, I won't review it because everybody else has re reviewed it. So, uh, and, but what's annoys me is people who review stuff just show you the project, like, I can go online and see the pictures. We want to see if it's, if it's bad quality, good quality, what the zippers look like, tags, you know what I mean? Uh, so people just, look, I bought it, I got it in the mail, uh, it looks nice. Uh, yeah, we know, we've seen the pictures online. So today I'm going to actually review a, a old uh, older jacket, like it's five years old, it's fall, uh, I don't know, autumn, uh, winter. Uh, CP company jacket and its name is uh, DD shell contrast pad down hoodie jacket in orange uh, it's this jacket right here uh, and I think this jacket is awesome I bought it uh, from a guy in the uh, UK um, on eBay for a really good price uh, I think it was uh, uh, 160 pounds so I think that's a really good price I see some of these jackets go uh, cheap and expensive uh, I see some of them uh, online from like uh, shady sellers this was a uh, high rated sellers uh, because I have not seen many fake uh, CP company uh, jackets but uh, in my life but uh, I know this ain't fake though uh, he had 100% hundred, uh, hundred reviews and uh, yeah, he seems like he only sold this kind of stuff though uh, Stone Island and CD Company and all the reviews was legit and all the tags and everything like I owned uh, over a dozen Stone Island jackets and clothes and CP Company and I see if it's something uh, it got the Vislon I don't know if you're focusing on what I got the Vislon uh, YKK um, uh, sips, uh, this one like a chunky good sips. Uh, it got it's a size 54, but I would say that's a double XL, but I would say it like it's a medium to uh, a big medium to a, a small large. Uh, CP company is very strange compared to even Stone Island that is one size. This can I can buy a jacket in 52 and it's really big. Or even 50 in some older models like before 2000s and stuff and some of the jackets you need triple XL I could even go triple XL in this and I'm not skinny but I'm not like a fat slob either uh, uh, it's got the Stone Island uh, in here it's a down jacket uh, this is like a, a wax ish the hoodie is a you can open the hoodie as you see like the, the hoodie is uh, uh, you, uh, when you wear it it's like tight around here and when you open it like this it becomes really big you see like the hoodie is massive and it's wax the only thing I think is annoying with this kind of stuff like you only you can only uh, dry clean it um, uh, you can only dry clean it so that's real annoying and 
um, you can only dry clean it. Uh, so and this wax thing you know wax products like if you get something if you got like uh, if you use cocoa but I live in Norway so it's f and my skin is dry as fuck in the winter time and I always need like a, a lot of cream and cocoa butter and I usually make it stay on or if I use some kind of wax or something in my hair uh, it goes like uh, on the jacket and not even only the wax like everything is I feel like if you just uh, touch this with something on your fingers it will like immediately just suck into this thing I don't know what's up with that it got the, this uh, the elastic bands that are really comfortable around your wrists it's got it's made in Romania Stone Island CP company makes a lot of stuff in uh, uh, Romania Italy I don't know if they make in Turkey anymore uh, maybe some of the projects are uh, made there uh, use uh, I think that it's a down jacket DD shell dive down shell yeah this jacket I would say it's one of my favorite jackets I'm not gonna sell this I sold, I sold a lot of shit lately and uh, that's because I'm trying to not do this hype shit I, I told that in the last video but I really mean it like buy some clothes you can wear like if you have like I think now I have um, little jacket uh, not many jackets but I got this I got two Stone Island jackets I got this I got uh, like a Le Levi's jean jacket, I got a diesel like uh, souvenir jacket, like silk jacket, I got, uh, I don't know, I got a, a camo Nimbus car jacket, I got, I got a lot of jackets in the closet and I'm like, oh, I don't got any jackets, but find a couple of jackets you like and wear them, you don't always need I used to have like maybe 20, 25 jackets. Like, yeah, it's good to have, but it costs a lot of money. And even though you exchange, you sit on the internet fucking all day, all day on the internet, looking for bargains, looking for new things, looking. It's only close. If you find a cup, two pairs of jeans, uh, one trouser like a little nicer and you have some sweatpants you good shoes pick out like okay buy uh, some shoes now in January sale or February don't buy any shoes until the sale after summer you know like keep it this consumer shit is crazy it fits <clears throat> You got the goggles here with a zipper. This jacket is crazy nice, you know. Now we do like this. And they got the wax down the middle here too, as well. Yeah, that is it, yo. Hope you like it. I know I'm babbling sometimes, but yeah, it's a nice jacket.